Good afternoon, good evening, and good morning to everyone tuned in across the world. My name is Sam, and I'd like to share with you a story about the intelligent transportation grid. Our story begins with Christian, who will be born into the Singularity University community in 2009. He will inherit the legacy we leave for him. He'll be born into a world with a billion cars, into a country with 280 million cars. More cars than we have people eligible to drive them. As he grows up, he'll inevitably make some great friendships with brilliant people, with all the potential to change the world. But not all of them will get the chance. Because slight miscalculations and inefficiencies in our current transportation grid kill. They kill 2.5 million people every year. The highest killer of kids in their 20s and teenagers is car accidents. We pay for this with our lives, but we also pay a number of other ways. 8% of our potential economic output, our potential innovative capacity, is lost to time we spend driving. We continue to contribute a third of greenhouse gas emissions, a third are contributed by personal vehicles like cars and trucks. So by the time that Christian turns 20, he'll have seen the world change from a billion cars on the road, road to over two billion. But it doesn't have to be this way, because we can leverage exponential technologies to change the world. And we know by 2030, we'll have the autonomous car, the car that can drive itself, and we'll have ubiquitous high-speed wireless networks everywhere, and sensor networks. And at that point, we'll be able to do something that we call packet switching for people. We'll be able to intelligently route people around at high speed to exactly where they want to go, when they want to go, without those inefficiencies and miscalculations that kill millions of lives. And something else will happen. There'll be a consumer mindset shift because people will recognize that possessing transportation in order to access its convenient benefits doesn't make any sense. It's much easier to access it when you need it on demand and pay per use, like accessing, moving from software to accessing services in the cloud. This will cause a fundamental paradigm shift from possess to access. And we know this is coming because we can see the exponentials. We can see the exponentials in artificial intelligence, in robotics, in the autonomous car, in sensor networks, in high-speed wireless communications. So our team took on the challenge of figuring out how we can leverage these technologies today. How can we kickstart the ITG, the Intelligent Transportation Grid vision today? And so we came up with what we think is a novel invention. We took the smartphone and combined it with a car to create vehicle sensor networks at low cost today. So that way we can ride the tsunami of smartphone exponentials. So we filed a patent, incorporated a company, and launched our first product, GetAround, the world's first peer-to-peer -peer car sharing service, the world's first marketplace for underutilized car hours, where you can rent out your car when you're not using it for money. So that we can kickstart that mindset shift from possess to access. Sort of like Zipcar meets eBay. Now Zipcar is the nation's largest car sharing service. They have a fleet of 5,500 to 6,000 cars across the United States. But unless you live in a dense urban area, you're really out of luck because you can't access the benefits of car, of personal transportation on demand. With a peer-to-peer -peer model, we can leverage the install base of 280 million cars so that car sharing looks a little bit more like this, where you can call up a car anytime, anywhere, when you need it. And we will begin to change the mindset of consumers to enable a whole new wave of transportation services. Now, the experts are clear on this. When consumers make a choice to move to car sharing, they also make a choice to be much more rational about the expense of travel, of driving. They understand what it costs to drive. 
And all the stats show a 44% reduction in vehicle miles traveled for everyone who moves to car sharing. And the net effect is a 40% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. So clearly, Get Around, our first product in 2009, positively impacts 6.7 billion people. But here at Singularity, we live in exponential times, and we do everything exponentially. So not only did we think of this concept, we wanted to launch it. So we formed a company. We incorporated. We have four people ready to take this forward September 1. I mentioned we already filed a patent. We also developed prototype technology. We even went so far as to develop an award-winning iPhone app, which took best money-making application at the Yahoo iPhone developer camp. We've talked to cities and mayors. We've talked to the city of Chicago, to New York, to Sacramento. We've talked to leading experts everywhere. Because we're starting this today, all in pursuit of one vision. So that by the time Christian grows up and he's 16, instead of getting the keys to the one billionth and one car on the road, he'll be given a smartphone that can give him, with the get around application, that will give him access to transportation on demand, anywhere, anytime. Thank you. Thank you.